Hi, I'm Shivangi, working in TGH Software Solutions as Google Professional. So today I'll be imparting some knowledge on how to expose our REST API using authentication as gateway. So let's get started. So we'll go through some series of steps one by one. The very first step is to create a process. We have to create a generic process to expose the REST, uh, REST API, wherein the star chip will be of a connector type, that is Web Services Server Connector. Once we create a process, we'll be uh, creating an API service component so, uh, so that we will create separate endpoints for REST, so OData, etc. Hence, then we have to uh, configure the API type that is of advanced. Basically, we have three types of API, basic, intermediate, and advanced. So in order to use the authentication type as gateway, we would require to use API type as advanced. So you can see in the photograph over here, we have the authentication type as gateway. So this option will be available only when we put this API type as uh, advanced. So once we select API type as advanced, it will automatically be showing this gateway in the authentication type option. So once we uh, do that, we'll come to the gateway. That is the part of uh, API management. So first thing that we'll be doing in API management is to in install a gateway. So once we install a gateway, we'll have to, uh, you know, we'll have to configure various other things, one of which is plan, application, and subscription. So plan is basically the way we have Netflix plan, wherein we uh, uh, we subscribe to different plans based on yearly or monthly basis. Similarly, we have certain plans per gateway as well, wherein we have some specific uh, rate limit is there, then message size is there, uh, quota limit is there, so likewise, we'll subscribe for various plans based on this. Next is application. So users create applications uh, which serve to allow entity or another any entity or business unit or third party application to access the API. Similarly, we have subscription. So each subscription which we create uh, to any application, it allows you to specify a unique plan for the subscription and provides a unique API key for the application. So once we configure all these things, we'll be ready for the um, for the final uh, exposing of the API. That is, we'll run through that postman and we'll see the output of that. So now we'll practically create a process to expose an API. Here you can see the start shape is taken as a connector type. The connector here is web services server connector and the action is listen. Operation here will be configured according to this following uh, configurations, which I'll be telling you. The very first one is the simple URL path that is used for the rest. Next, we have the SOAP URL path. Then we have operation type, which will be taking as get operation. Object, we can mention any name for this. Uh, as of now, I have mentioned introduction. Then expected input type will be none in the, in the case which I'm using. Next is response output type with the single data. And for the content type, I'll be taking the text plane. So as of now, I have already uh, configured this process uh, so that it takes less time for me to explain to you guys. And after configuring the star shape, I'll just uh, mention what is there which I need to uh, expose. So I'll be exposing a simple uh, sentence that is, I'm Shivangi. So I'll be using a message shape to write that message. And then we'll use a return document shape in order to return the data what we are exposing. So once I complete this process, I'll be uh, uh, deploying it to the environment. So let's create the packaged component first. So I'll select the environment which I have created, that is Shivangi Dev.
So now the process has been created and I have deployed the process as well. So now next step as, as we have discussed is to create an API service component. So I have already created uh, the API service component. I'll just open it and show you the configuration. Initially, we have published API title that is uh, that we can mention anything here. I have mentioned as get data. Then we have the version 1.0. Then we have the base API path. So now uh, I'll click on this rest and in the rest, I'll get the path uh, to rest. So this will be the basic path that we'll be getting. Now, at this point, I'll have to import an endpoint. So, uh, as of now, I've already imported, but uh, let's see how it uh, how they, how it is uh, configured. So once we import an endpoint, I'll just click on use an existing process and I'll click on next. I'll select rest then. Here, I'll select the process with which I want it to be attached or for which I want the uh, API to be exposed. So I'll select expose API and click on rest. And then once I click on finish, my endpoint will be created. So as we have already done, I'll just click on cancel. So the as I told you, the object name for my uh, exposing the API for, for my API was introduction. I'll just show you here, right? Here the object name was introduction in the operation. Hence the object name here, I can see this introduction, okay? Similarly, we have uh, created this endpoint wherein if I click on the edit endpoint, I'll be able to see the all the details of the endpoint. That is the resource path HTTP method, which I'll be using in order to expose uh, all this input type and uh, output type, all these things. So once my API is exposed or once my API service component is created, I'll have to deploy this as well. So I'll just create a packaged component and deploy the API service component. For this also, I use the environment as the same. Shivangi environment. Okay, so now we have configured two things. First one is the process. We have created a process. The second thing is we have created a service component that is the API service component. Now the third step which we have to uh, do is we have to go to this atom management. We click on the atom which we are using. Here as I have already uh, used Shivangi dev, so I'll be using the same. And then I'll go to this shared web server option. So I've already shown you in the slide that we have two options, that is the API type and the authentication type. So here the API type I'll select as advanced. We have three types, three different types, and I'll select advanced. And once I select advanced, I'll get the authentication type as gateway. So you can see if I select basic over here, I won't be getting authentication type as gateway. We'll only get the authentic uh, authentication type as gateway once I uh, take this as advanced. So this is how it is. Then we'll just click on save. So this is done. Now, the, the next step which we'll follow is to uh, install the gateway. So we'll go to the services and we'll go to API management. Then we'll go to the configure server and We'll click on gateways. Here we have an option to add a gateway. So once we click on the gateway, we'll have download install installer. And for that, we'll be having two different options. That is uh, Windows 64 bit or Linux 64 bit. So we'll be installing uh, the gateway from here. Also, we have the security option where we can generate a token and use the same token while installing. Uh, this is somewhat similar to the uh, to installing an atom in your system. So the way we install an atom, similarly, we'll have to install the gateway as it is. So I've just closed it for now as I have already installed uh, the gateway in my system. So I'll just search for that. 
here I have searched for Shivangi as I have uh, named my gateway as the Shivangi gateway. So uh, once the gateway is installed for you, you can click on this uh, environment migration. So there is an option, create a new migration. When you click on this, create a new migration, you will have to select the environment name for yourself. As uh, the environment name for me is uh, Shivangi Dev. So I click on that and create migration. Now I'll have to select again here to which environment I need to move here. So then I click on save and continue. Here are certain uh, pointers which you can configure. There is a rest endpoint which comes by default. Then SOAP operations, there is a 1.2 operation. Everything is mentioned by default over here. You can just click on save and continue. Uh, next again, save and continue, you will click on. Then ready for gateway. You can mention, uh, you can see the status is mentioned as ready for gateway and you can click on save and continue. Save and continue. Again, you will click on the save and continue and yeah, finally you will click on migrate and it will be done. So you will get a pop-up close. So now when you click on gateways and environment, you will see the environment is attached to this, with the name Shivangi underscore dev. So the next step is to create a plan. We'll click on configure server. We'll get an option of plans over here. We'll click on this. Then we'll get an option to create a plan. We'll write the name of the plan. I just mentioned Shivangi, Shivangi's plan. Description is there. Uh, so everything is right now mentioned as unlimited. You can mention whatever you want. I'll just mention it here as date limit as five calls and save it. So when you will scroll, you will get an option of Shivangi plan over here. Okay. So this is the option uh, where you can see the description of the plan, which is uh, which I've selected. Rate limit is five calls per minute and everything is else set to unlimited. So now the plan is created. Now what we have to do is we just have to enable that plan. So in order to enable the plan, we we'll click on this uh, configure APIs and application and go to our deployed APIs. Here we'll, be, we'll search for the gateway which we have already created in the first step. So this is the gateway. And here we can find there is an option as plan and below this incomplete is mentioned, which means the plan is not yet enabled. So when we we'll click on this, we'll just have to enable our plan. So add a plan option is there. So I'll just select the plan over here. Shivangi's plan. So I've got this Shivangi's plan and its uh, details are mentioned over here. Add to the API deployment. So once I do this, you will be able to able to see the rate limit. Everything is mentioned over here, right? Then, then I click on save, and yeah, it's done. Uh, you can see under the plan, we are getting one plan. Okay. Now, next option is we'll have to create application. So for the for creating the application, we'll again uh, click on this option where we'll get this option as applications. Here we get an option to create an application. Now here we'll uh, select the gateway, which we have already created. So here we have Shivangi's gateway. And we'll click on the application name that is Shivangi underscore application. Owner name Shivangi. That's all, we'll just click on save and move next. So. Uh, Shivangi application successfully created. So now the application is successfully created. We'll search for the application here. Here it is. So we have the Shivangi application, which is attached with Shivangi gateway. You can see the owner name, but the subscription over here is zero subscriptions. Now we, now we need to uh, subscribe for this. So we'll click on this. We'll click on subscribe and we'll search for our API. Uh, you know, 
API service component over here. So this already, it is there, API service component. So we click on next, Shivangi's plan. So this was the plan which we have created with rate limit as five calls per minute and rest of the things as unlimited. We'll click on next. Now we'll set the date uh, for which the plan is there. For example, let's say, let it be 28 September as of now, if we can finish. Okay. So now all the configurations are being done. Now what you have to do is you just have to go to Postman and try executing it. So in order to execute it, we need this API key. I just copy this API key, go to the Postman and click here for the value of the API key as this and I'll select X API key here. So whatever I have I have copied from there, I pasted over here and uh, selected the X API key. Now I just need to put in the URL over here. I'll just go back to my platform and I'll find the URL from here. I'll click on the deployed APIs. So once we go to the deployed APIs, we'll get the gateway over here and search for the gateway. I click on the view option. I click on rest. So you will see the endpoint path is mentioned over here. So I just copy this path, go to postman, paste this path over here. So you just take care that you have already mentioned the uh, mentioned this as get and this is fine. And you just click on send and it should work. So as you remember, I had written, I am Shivangi in the message shape in the uh, process while we configure the process. So same is the result which I'm getting. So I'm able to expose my API. This is it. As of now, I think this should be pretty much clear to you. I hope you like the session. Stay tuned for more information. Thank you.